Some good news that was recently introduced in regards to Social Security benefits to give them a little bump higher. And yes, this does include Social Security retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, and SSI benefits. Let's get right into the details. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks again for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so I can continue to keep you updated each and every day as all of this information is changing very, very rapidly, almost on a daily basis. Also, you wanna make sure you're subscribed so we can reach 1 million subscribers right here on the channel before the end of the year, because the more people we have here in this community, the greater the impact and influence that we have going forward, especially as we reach out to Congress, asking them to issue more stimulus checks or we should just call them survival checks at this point, right? As well as additional benefits, permanent raises to all of these benefits like social security, retirement, disability, survivors, SSI, and VA benefits. Thank you, I truly appreciate it. And just remember, I am back every single day as your advocate and as your voice to continue pushing forward for additional relief for everybody in this community. Thank you, I truly appreciate it. And I just, I just wanna do whatever I can to help everybody here every single day. All right, sorry, that was very long-winded, <laughs> but let's get into this. All right, so if you've been watching my videos for any length of time now, you know that I like to keep you updated with everything going on in regards to Social Security benefits, regardless if it's retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, any of these benefits, or any other stimulus programs in regards to low-income individuals. Well, just the other day, Representative John Garamondi introduced something in Congress that I think you might be interested in knowing about. So, with that being said, before we say anything else, I'm gonna bring my wife in right now, Corey. She's gonna read this to you that John Garamondi just introduced, and it's in regards to Social Security benefits. I'll be back in just a minute, and we can go through the key points and the key takeaways out of this introduction. All right, Corey, take it away. Congressman Garamendi introduces bill to increase Social Security benefits. Today, Congressman John Garamendi introduced the Fair COLA for Seniors Act of 2021. This bill would require Social Security to use the Consumer Price Index for the elderly to calculate a fair cost of living adjustment for seniors. The bill would increase benefits and ensure the cost of living adjustments in Social Security reflect the real rising costs for seniors and disabled Americans. From 1982 to 2011, consumer price index rose at an average rate of 3.1%, compared with the 2.9% for the methods that are currently used. Seniors and disabled citizens rely on Social Security benefits for a large portion of their income. And it's about time for Social Security benefits to reflect their lifestyles, says Garamendi. Using a COLA that actually reflects how retirees spend their money, especially with health care, is a no-brainer that will increase benefits and make Social Security work better for the people it serves. The legislation has already earned broad support with 23 original co-sponsorships and key support from leading advocacy, group, advocacy groups and labor organizations. Social Security Works applauds Representative Garamendi for champion Social Security and sponsoring the Fair Cola for Seniors Act of 2021, said Nancy Altman, the president of Social Security Works. One of the most valuable features of Social Security is its inflation protection. However, the current method of calculating inflation undermeasures the cost of living of seniors and people with disabilities who are disproportionately burdened by rising costs of prescription drugs and other essential medical care. By more accurately accounting for the cost faced by Social Security beneficiaries, this legislation better prevents the erosion over time of Social Security's modest but vital earned benefits. All right, so there it is. As you can see, Representative John Garamondi is introducing that they change the method in which they calculate the annual COLA or cost of living adjustment for all of these beneficiaries. Now, here's the thing. If you saw right in there, they talked about this time frame between 1982 and 2011. Basically, what 
they said in there was the average CPI, which is the consumer price index or the index in which calculates inflation on an ongoing basis. In fact, we've been talking a lot about that lately because it's going through the roof at this point, right? Inflation is going really high and really hot right now. So you know what CPI is because we've mentioned it quite a few times here over the last couple months. Now, here's the thing. During that 29 year period from 1982 through 2011, the average CPI was 3.1% during that time. However, the method in which that they used to calculate the annual COLA raise for all these beneficiaries only suggested a 2.9%. So it's two tenths of a percent, which I mean, let's be real, that's not a whole lot, but over the course of 29 years, it adds up, right? It adds up to be quite a bit over a long period of time, like 29 years like that. So basically this representative is just saying, hey, let's just make it fair. Let's readjust the method in which we calculate the annual COLA raise for all of these beneficiaries to better reflect their actual cost of living, right? Like taking into account healthcare costs, right? I mean, that would probably make sense to better adjust benefits in accordance with what people are actually spending money on, right? And where they see the actual uh, money going out the door. So anyway, here's the thing about this. Yes, it's not gonna add up to a ton of money at the end of the day, but this calculation, it would help a little bit, right? Maybe you could say, it's small potatoes or <laughs> whatever figure of speech you wanna say. But here's the thing. As I've said before, I just wanna do whatever I can to keep you updated with everything going on. This came across my table, I saw it and I thought, you know what? Let's just talk about it because it's something worthy of bringing up because ultimately at the end of the day, if they do actually um, change the method in which they calculate the COLA raise each and every year, it would impact your benefits a little bit. Now, would it mean you would get a $100 raise? Well, unfortunately, probably not, right? I mean, unless inflation is like really, really, really hot, it's not gonna be that much. But either way, it would have a minor impact. Like I said, small potatoes. But either way, I'll take some potatoes over no potatoes, right? Um, <laughs> maybe someday we can get a, a, a steak with those potatoes, but we'll have to see about that. But either way, it's nice that somebody out there, at least in Congress, is like sticking up for Social Security and saying, hey, let's at least do something to make it a little bit more um, equitable as far as let's just make it, you know, let's change the method. Let's make a little bit more sense as we calculate all of these benefits. You know, I see the comments down below and so many of my videos, so many of you reach out and you're not all that excited about the cola. Um, there's actually a lot of people who it almost seems like would rather prefer to not get the cola. And the reason I say that is because I see a lot of comments regarding the cola, people saying like, yeah, the cola is great. It was $10, but guess what? They took away $7 of my SNAP benefit. They jacked up my Medicare Part B premium by $4 and net net, I'm negative a dollar. You know what I mean? So, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, the cola, you know, they kind of jack it up and then they kind of take it all away. I mean, we've seen this time and time again over so many years and I see it down in the comments section all the time, which it's a sad situation. I mean, realistically, I just feel like it's kind of unethical to do that, really, right? I mean, to give you a raise, a nice big raise, like we could be looking at for 2022, and then all of a sudden say, oh, by the way, just kidding, we're taking it back because we've decided to jack up Medicare Part B premiums or you know, reduce other benefits. So I don't know, that doesn't seem right to me, but you know, I wish I could write the rules. Uh, the rules would be very, very different if I was the author, um, if I was the person writing all of these rules. <laughs> It'd be fun, right? <laughs> Trust me, your life would be pretty fun um, if I was writing the rules, but um, the program probably wouldn't do very well with me managing it, you know what I mean? Because I just wanna be like, let's get everybody some more money. Let's get everybody, you know, a really good time here. Let's just make sure everybody's taken care of. But um, anyway, you know that's obviously never going to happen. I'm not, <laughs> I don't want that position. But either way, hopefully they do something along these lines. Hopefully they you know change the method in which they calculate the cola. But at the end of the day, ultimately what matters the most is that they come up with a permanent solution to raise all these benefits across the board to something that is more along the lines of like a decent standard of living, right? So many people reach out to me and say, you know, my benefit is $800, my SSI is uh, 794, my disability benefit is 904, you know, whatever it is. Regardless, it, it doesn't add up. I mean, it, it doesn't give a person a, a decent standard of living, right? So anyway, that is ultimately the focus is to get these bigger raises, but ultimately, 
I just wanted to bring you the information that I continue to find. So this is what I found. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you out a little bit, but we will continue pushing in any possible way we can to get more resources, more relief, more stimulus, permanent raises, anything we can possibly get our hands on for all of you right here in this community. So thank you so much. I truly appreciate your support. Make sure to whack the subscribe button right down below the video, but be careful. Don't crack your screen. <laughs> I don't want to be I don't want to be responsible for cracked screens. I don't need any invoices in my mailbox, okay? So please be careful, but make sure you are subscribed so that we can reach that 1 million subscribers because we have so much more impact and influence when we have a huge um, collection of people here. When we have a lot of people in this community, we have so much more of an impact going forward as we reach out to Congress saying, hey, yo, guys, do something and help out all of these fixed income beneficiaries, right? So anyway, go back and check out some other videos right here on the channel. I talk a lot about stimulus, stimulus checks, social security, retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, low income, rental assistance, utility assistance, all kinds of different things. We cover it right here. Thanks again, everybody. I truly appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.